Hello everyone, so tonight I decided to create another video tutorial, but this time is going to be full makeup tutorial. So tonight I set everything up with my favorite liquid foundation, Amuse Cosmetic Full Coverage Liquid Foundation in Satin Finish. And for my powder, I use a City Color Collection Flawless Natural Loose Powder in Soft Beige. So now with this nostalgic mirror, I want to create another formal look using earth tone. So it's going to be brown, light brown, and dark brown, and some of the orange tone. And after all the embellishment, I will uh, let you see the finished look. Let's go. As always, I wanted to start my eyeshadow with my base color. As much as possible, it is beige, cream, or just nude color that I'm going to apply all over my eyelid on a crease and a brow bone. Next, this medium dark brown that I'm going to apply all over my eyelid area. And the other part. And after, always check that it is balanced. Next, I'm going to use this light brown in a warm tone. And I'm going to apply it on the crease area in a very heavy amount. And I'm going to use a clean brush and blend it in a circular motion upward just to highlight that the glitter eyeshadow later. Always make sure that the shadow is balanced. Use your palm to see the shadow if it's balanced. After all, that's where that name created. Next, I'm going to use this LA color in a glitter palette with a flat brush. I'm going to use this almost like orange amber color and I'm going to put it on my eyelid. First, I'm just let it sit first and see if it's oxidized because some of the eyeshadow oxidize itself most of them are the glittery one and apply it on the other side Now that I observe that the eyeshadow doesn't oxidize itself, I'm going to blend it upward to blend it as well on the warm tone light brown that I put earlier. Now I'm going to uh, use the first base eyeshadow to remove all the fall eyeshadow on the lower part of my eye and also highlighted the brow bone area to set it to make it ready for the eyebrow now to seal everything else just pop it out with your base powder next I'm going to use that earth tone dark brown in a glitter shade as well and I'm going to put it on the edge of my eye just to create the dimension and the blending of the eyeshadow as you can see and on the other side next I'm going to use the darker shade of brown and put it under my eye first I'm going to put it on a very little amount and balance it Always check if it's balanced. Now with this angle brush, I'm gonna go back to the dark shade of brown and use it to create my eyebrow. And 
And since I do have a lot of scars on my eyebrow area, it's hard for me to blend it. But I'm gonna do my best. Now I'm going to blend the area of my eyebrow near on my nose bridge. Now I'm gonna add more of the shadow to create more thicker eyebrow. I think it's better essential since I have a big forehead. And work on the other eyebrow. And now it's time to check. I really love the result. Now using the brush that I used earlier, I'm going to drag down some of the excess um, eyeshadow on my eyebrow down to my um, nose bridge to create the contour and blend it with my brush. And now I'm gonna use the City Color Shimmer and Shadow as my highlighter in shade Skinny Latte. Apply it also on the forehead, on a T-section, to make it more forward. Now let's move on on the blusher, on Miss Cheek Universally Flattering Flesh Blush. I'm going to apply it in a circular motion, a little bit higher on my cheek. I like to apply it higher to undefined my very long facial shape. Now you can see the difference. And apply it on the other side. Now I'm going to mute them with City Color Collection Flawless Natural Loose Powder in Soft Beige. Now I'm going to move on with my favorite lip gloss, Argan Oil from Italia Deluxe. After this naive color from She Plumping Lipstick. Now that the look is complete, I'm going to put my yellow jade and pearl on my ear. So that's all the finished product of all the embellishment that I did today or tonight. I don't know which time you're going to watch this video. But I hope you understand and you learn something from me, from my own procedure. And once again, take care and love yourself. Bye!